Mr. Dennis, you and Miss Cole were in a relationship, and I assume you lived together for a period of time. Never. Well, then what was your couch doing in the house? She was supposed to be the good friend who was letting me store it there. No, 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 no. Mr. Dennis, let's get straight. I'm going to read your complaint. Melissa and I were friends. Things started to go downhill, and we decided to go our separate ways. Said I had to move to a smaller apartment for six months and asked if I could leave my couch and TV with her until I was able to get an apartment. You never lived on your couch with her in her apartment? Never. Is that right? Yes. Really? Oh, this is all unusual to me. So you just brought your couch over to her house? Yes. How long ago? I'll say about four and a half months now. Okay, so you haven't been friends for, for a while and you also left the TV there. Yes, that was actually a month and a half after the TV, the couch was already there. Well, what were you moving, slowly? Well, actually, yes, I was starting over and um, had a small apartment and I had friends holding my stuff. What kind of a TV? It was a nice um, flat screen TV, 65 inch. Okay, um, and was this a new couch? No. After Fairly you no. stored the couch in her house, where in her house did you store it? In the living room so she could use it while she was supposedly getting another couch for herself. Did she have a couch in the living room that she got no. rid of? No, she no. didn't have nothing. Okay, so she put in your couch. Yes. And this was a few months ago. Four and about, so. And the TV the same? A little bit lesser, but yes. And you say he's annoying you? Yes. He wants his couch back <laughs> and his TV. Do you understand? Of course. He's going to get his couch back and his TV five I, days from today. I don't want it, to. Well, that's too bad. Listen to me very carefully. You're going to get back your couch and your TV. Okay. Done. She's okay. not paying you any money. Okay. That's finished. Now we're going to get on to your counterclaim. And your counterclaim is that he slashed your tires or did something to your car, vandalized your car. Yes. And he d did all of this because he wanted his stuff back. Yes. Yes. And when did he do that? Um, the first incident was September 6th. My windshield was busted out in my van. Okay. Did you file a police report? Yes, I did. Did you name the perpetrator? Yes, I did. I'd like to see it. Well, I don't have the police report with me. I have the numbers. Not interested in numbers, interested yep. in a police report. I don't have, no. All I couldn't right. get them in time. Very good. Now, we're going to go to the next time. When did he damage your property the next time? The, 26th, the 25th of September is when he slashed my tires and keyed my van. Do you have a police report for that? No. Nope. Okay, then I can't help you. Then you go sue him someplace else. Anyway, you're going to get your couch and your TV back. Your couch and TV within five days from today's date. We will prepare an order. Goodbye. Thank you. Thank you.